welcome to the video friends so in this video we are going to discuss how to find evolute of a cycloid so in the cycloid we will have one uh, interesting thing to find the evolute of cycloid is an another cycloid so easily we can show this so let me take the question show that the evolute of a cycloid x equal to a into theta minus sin theta comma y equal to y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta is an another cycloid is an another cycloid x equal to a into theta plus sin theta and y equal to minus a into 1 minus cos theta so this ability only we are going to get so here we can proceed as usual so to get the evolute of any curve we need parametric equation see one, one thing here in cycloid we are having only parametric equations we are representing cycloid as a parametric form only there is no partition form so take the given parametric form x equal to a into theta minus sin theta and y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta now as usual you can proceed just to differentiate this x and y with respect to theta so dx by d theta equal to a into a is a constant keep as it is differentiation of theta is 1 minus differentiation of sin theta is cos theta then dy by d theta dy by d theta is nothing but a is constant that is in multiplication you, you should keep as it is differentiation of 1 is 0 that is differentiation of constant 0 minus differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta so minus into minus plus sin theta therefore we will have dy by d theta is a sin theta now easily we can find what is dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta so dy by d theta is a sin theta dx by d theta is a into 1 minus cos theta now we can cancel this a a and we know the value of uh, sin 2 theta we know what is sin 2 theta so sin 2 theta equal to 2 sin theta cos theta so using this formula easily we can find what is sin theta see here here 2 theta means here we should have half of that value 2 theta by 2 that is only we are having here theta so for sin theta you will take again the same half of this value so 2 into sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 so this is the formula for sin theta next we need the formula for 1 minus cos theta so we can express 1 minus cos theta as uh, like this using cos 2 theta formula so cos 2 theta we have four formulas in that the suitable formula is here 1 minus 2 sin square theta then only we can get uh, cos theta minus 1 form okay so here also the same idea divide this angle by 2 just divide the angle by 2 we can get 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2 I just divide this angle by 2 or you can understand like this also here 2 theta means here we are having theta half of that value so just take half of that value half of uh, this theta value anyway you can understand this so 2 sin square theta by 2 I taken this negative part to left hand side then 1 is already there minus i take this cos theta to right hand side so 1 minus cos theta so the formula for 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 just apply these values here so sin theta is nothing but 2 sin theta by 2 
into cos theta by 2 divided by 1 minus cos theta is nothing but 2 sine square theta by 2. Now we can cancel 1 sine sine 2 to get cancelled. Therefore, dy by dx dy by dx is equal to cos theta divided by sin theta cos theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 so cos by sin is nothing but cot theta by 2 so this is a value for y1 that is y1 is cot theta by 2 so this is a value for y1 next our aim is to find y2 how to find y2 that is nothing but d square y by dx square. So differentiate dy by dx one more time with respect to x. That is d by dx of dy by dx. So this is d by dx of dy by dx is cot theta by 2. That is the dy by dx value we got. That is cot theta by 2. So now differentiate this cot theta by 2 with respect to x. Here yeah, theta is a variable, we are going to differentiate with respect to x. So this is a kind of implicit function. So theta is uh, depending on x. It is a function of x. So we can express this as differentiation of cot theta is minus cosecant square theta by 2 into 1 by 2, that constant. Theta differentiation is d theta by dx. Okay. So differentiation of cot theta is minus cosecant square theta by 2. What is the angle? It is the same angle. Then differentiate this angle. Here 1 by 2 is a constant. Keep as it is. Differentiation of theta is d theta by dx. Because we are differentiating with respect to x here. So minus cosecant square theta by 2 into 1 by 2 d theta by dx. What is d theta by dx? Already we know what is dx by d theta. What is dx by d theta? That is a into 1 minus cos theta. So here the reciprocal of that is 1 by a into 1 minus cos theta. Just simplify this minus cosecant square is nothing but 1 by sin square theta by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by a into 1 minus cos theta already we know that 2 sin square theta by 2 this is a formula for 1 minus cos theta we got already that uh, result so the final expression is minus 1 divided by numerator is 1 only multiply all the denominators year 1 2 year 1 2 2 goes are 4 and this a 4a is a constant into sin square into sin square sin power 4 theta by 2 so this is the value of y2 d square y by dx square so this is called y2 now just substitute this y1 y2 value in the center of curvature next we proceed for the center of curvature the center of curvature c of x bar comma y bar is First you take x bar, x bar equal to x minus y1 by y2 into 1 plus y1 square. Now x, what is x value? x is nothing but the given parametric form that is a into theta minus sin theta minus y1. What is the y1 value? y1 is cot theta by 2. y1 is cot theta by 2 divided by y2 is minus 1 by 4a sin power 4 theta by 2 into 1 plus y1 square. So 1 plus y1 is cot theta, y1 square is cot square theta by 2. So next line. is equal to a into theta minus sin theta here minus and minus plus cot theta by 2 is we can write cos theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 
into this 1 by 4a sin power 4 theta by 2 goes reciprocal. So, this is 4a sin power 4 theta by 2 into 1 plus cot square. So, we know the identity called cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1. So, from this cosecant square theta equal to 1 plus cot square theta. So, similarly here we can write 1 plus cot square theta by 2 can be written as cosecant square theta by 2. Cosecant square theta by 2. So, next line we can write this as a into theta minus sin theta plus see here uh, we can cancel sin theta by 2 here 3 powers we can can uh, 1 power will cancel we will have remaining 3 powers into cos theta by 2 into 4a into sin power 3 theta by 2 into cosecant square can be written as 1 by sin square theta by 2 cosecant is a reciprocal of sin function therefore this is a into theta minus sin theta plus 4a cos theta by 2 here see sin square here 1 power 2 power 1 power will be remaining 2 power get cancel so we will write here the remaining power of sin is 1 so sin power 1 that is sin simply sin theta by 2 into this function cos theta by 2 I write in this order first sign then cos because we are going to apply a formula here so a into theta minus sin theta plus this 4a I split this 4a as 2a into 2 that is 4a I combine this 2 with sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 because already we know the what is the formula for this so this is the formula for sin theta in the beginning we discussed that formula so this is 2a 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 is nothing but sin theta that is the formula actually so a next step we can expand this a inside a theta minus a sin theta plus 2a sin theta so here a theta minus a sin theta plus 2a sin theta is nothing but 2a minus a is plus a sin theta now take a outside from this theta plus sin theta so this is the value of x bar so see this is looking like our uh, x value x is nothing but uh, a into theta minus sin theta we are having see here x bar is a into theta plus sin theta so this is uh, one of the component of center of curvature so next we need to find y bar y bar is y plus 1 by y2 into 1 plus y1 square so a y is nothing but a into 1 minus cos theta this will be given plus 1 by y2 what is the value of y2 y2 is minus 1 by 4 4a sin power 4 theta by 2 minus 1 by 4a sin power 4 theta by 2 into 1 plus y1 square here also y1 is the same cot theta by 2 y1 square is cot square theta by 2 therefore here we will have a into 1 minus cos theta a plus into minus minus uh, 1 by 4a this becomes reciprocal 4a sin power 4 theta by 2 see 1 by again 1 1 by is there okay that means it goes a uh, reciprocal value into 1 plus cot square is nothing but cosecant square theta by 2 in last uh, case only we saw that idea so next next line a into 1 minus cos theta minus 4a sin power 4 theta by 2 this cosecant square is nothing but 1 by sin square theta by 2 that is a cosecant is nothing but reciprocal of sin function 
so again here the sine square and 2 power will cancel 2 power will be there so this is a into 1 minus cos theta minus 4 a sine square theta by 2 so again we can write here also the small adjustment uh, we can write this 4a as 2a into 2 i combine this 2 with sin square theta by 2 so already we know the formula for this 2 sin square theta by 2 is a formula for 1 minus cos theta is a formula for 1 minus cos theta in the, very, in the beginning of this problem we saw that uh, formula now just expand this see here here a times 1 minus cos theta here minus 2a times 1 minus cos theta therefore a minus 2a is to be minus a times 1 minus cos theta here 1 minus cos theta is common factor here the coefficient is a here the coefficient is minus 2a a minus 2a is to be minus a simply we can calculate like this no need to expand that's it so this is the value for y bar Therefore, see this is looking like our y, y value is a into 1 minus cos theta. Therefore, both x bar and y bar looking like our evolute curve. Therefore, we can conclude that the locus of the center of curvature, the locus of center of curvature is x equal to a into theta plus sin theta see we proved x bar see here we are we are proved x bar equal to a into theta plus sin theta just replace x bar as x and y bar as y you can get the equation of evolute see here we cannot eliminate the parameter theta because cycloid is already in parametric form only so no need to eliminate theta from this so this is a another cycloid that's it we proved this so as we prove the evolute of a given cyclone is a another cyclone thank you